Hello friends. Today I'm in the bathroom and I have a couple, well, I have a cabinet that is not quite working right anymore. Um, honestly, I don't know how much it can, it can change. Um, but I do want to get into it and see if I can declutter anything, rehome anything, throw anything away. Or if I can't do that, then at least I can reorganize it so it functions better. I'm still hesitant because I'm like, I'll probably need another container. Do I have a container? So a lot of procrastination, question marks, things keeping me from going forward. But with you by my side, let's see if we can make a difference in this cabinet. And there's the cabinet. And you can see in this house, we have very deep cabinets. I wanted to show you. It goes all the way, the length of the, the width of the shower. It's very deep. And they work, but they don't work. So in this cabinet, we have distilled water, which I use for the water kettle in the, the bathroom, as well as my water pick. Um, and then this was a box to pull out that had um, vitamins, travel containers for vitamins, um, but other overflow items have sort of just been put in there too. Now it's overflowing. And then back behind the water, we have extra towels for the bathroom. We really just keep out two towels for ourselves. Um, but if we ever need a backup towel, which we do occasionally, we'll pull it out of here. And then back behind, underneath those towels, are some heating mats and other random things that have been put back there. And then the top cabinet there uh, is just overflow items like extra body wash, shampoo, conditioner, um, CPAP wipes, all sorts of things. Uh, this box has been very handy to pull things in and out of um, so I can act like kind of a drawer and it helps with how deep the cabinets are. So I actually kind of want to get another kind of box about that size to put on the top shelf to make it easier to use. Um, and that's kind of like what's been stopping me. I was like, well, I don't have all the supplies, but it's not functioning and it's starting to overflow. So I think if nothing else today, I can just get in there and re-familiarize myself with what's in here. And I bet you there's some things I can get rid of. So let's see. I think the first thing I'm going to do is take down this box. And I think the very first thing that might help get rid of some things is just to look at the expiration dates at all of the vitamins. And because these are vitamins that I'm not using anymore, or I only use very occasionally. Um, and they've been in here for a while. So it'd be wonderful if there are some expired vitamins to make more room. <sighs> now I was also thinking about moving the travel containers for the vitamins down into the travel, um, the bottom drawer that I decluttered recently because those are the, that's where we look for, you know, we're going traveling, get our supplies out, extra supplies. So I may move those down there. We'll see. Okay. These things are all travel containers. I think I can t toss that one thing out. And then in here, I should have these things. And then these are extra CPAP supplies, extra orthodontia supplies, extra floss picks. Oh, another travel thing. Okay. Close. Oh. 
Now I'm down to the actual vitamins. So I'm going to go through and look at expirations. And 24. I wonder if I can use that so again. Just use it up. I think I'm going to do that. So this is a big container and there's not a lot in there. I bet you can use it. So put that out. So that made a difference. Um, there's two in here that are frustrating to me. So I just bought them. When I burned my hand, I got um, a saying to help it not scar or help the scar not be so tough, rub vitamin E into it. And I did that as a child and I had a wound on my finger. And the way we did it as a child was I took a vitamin E capsule, poked a hole in it, rubbed it all, my, all over my finger, and then that was it. And so I got, Walmart didn't have anything less than a two pack. Hello. Um, and I did that for my hand and it was sticky as all get out. And I couldn't handle it, just couldn't. Um, so I ended up washing it off and now I have two basically brand new bottles of vitamin E. This one still has the thing on it, but I can't take it back to Walmart because, or can I? They're sold as a two pack. I can't just say return this one because I don't think they sell them individually. And if they look back at my credit card, it's not gonna have a one pack in there anyways. I'm gonna ask Wes about this and think, see if he thinks he can return it with one opened. Okay, so that's a whole lot better, um, especially if we can get rid of those two. So I should have room for CPAP supply and orthodontia supply. And not overflowing now. Um, but that's assuming that I'm going to put all of this travel supply stuff in our travel drawer. Let me go look at that. I know we use this and I know you can use this when we travel. This one is broken. The thingy doesn't stay down anymore. I'm going to go ahead and toss that one. And any more broken ones? Yes. Two down. And don't think we need two of those. Let me ask Wes since it's his. And then that's fine. I take the card out. I can donate that because we haven't used it. So, donation. First donation. And these things go in there. Not used to them being down there. Let's think about it. Okay, it works. I just lined all the long things up there. It still fits. There's still only one layer of stuff. So, I think that's okay. So these are extra toothbrush heads for new toothbrushes. I really think they should go down in that drawer because that's where I used to look for them. So, but all of this packaging is bulky. So if I get rid of the packaging, which would be trash, just these things, and I can put them down there. This is our old toothbrush. Um, we were not ready to decide what to do with it because it's a pretty recent switch. So it needs to stay up here. 
for us to decide on later. And then I have an extra bag of Epsom salt for baths. And then this needs to stay up front. I'm going to use it several days. Our two extra towels. More toothbrush heads for the old toothbrush. Turbies, extra turbies. I have two out at the moment, and this is an extra one. I think I'll just put it out in rotation. Um, Instead of just adding it to the rotation, I think I'm going to go ahead and donate this oldest one. Um, the nice thing about these is they don't have any um, uh, elastic to go bad in them, so they really don't go bad unless you stain them, put holes in them. Um, but like feeling that new one, this is really, really rough. And it is name brand, so it's not like I got a knockoff or something. Um, I will ask my stepdaughter if she wants it. I don't know if she uses them. Um, I really don't need more than two. So, I'll set this aside. And then, I need a step stool. So three heating pads, they belong in here behind the extra towels. So I'm going to leave them in here. If that's the only thing back there, that's not a big deal. We know it's there, we know where to look for it. The extra toothbrush can go back into this one. And let's see what I just grabbed. I don't even know what these are. extra pillowcase covers, which we're not using, um, so I'm going to donate them. They're specialty ones that you use for allergies, um, but we don't use them, so. So these can go back in there, and then It doesn't overflow and fall on top of me anymore. And everything functions. It has, I know exactly what's in there now. That's toothbrush, Epsom salt, uh, vitamins, heating pads, extra towels, and water. That's not a massive list. So that's nice. But the only thing that I took out and I didn't put back in, it doesn't have a home, it's extra vitamins. Um, and it's like, this isn't just extra vitamins. These are vitamins I don't use. They're not in rotation right now. This is in rotation right now, but it doesn't fit in our vitamin drawer because it's massive. Let me look at that vitamin drawer. But our vitamin drawer, I get into weekly and I clean out monthly. So I don't think there's room, but let's, let me look. Surprise, surprise, it fits. Mm. Tells you the power of just looking and not just deciding in your head. So that's nice. So now the top. This is where I said I want another box because these are all just loose items. So extra shampoo. Body wash, conditioner, uh, 
two in one shampoo and conditioner. Has this ever been used? We don't use two in ones. It wouldn't be in here if my stepdaughter was using it. I think I'm gonna try donating it to Ronald McDonald House as a toiletry. Um, because we just won't use that. And then we have oh more two in one. These are all left over, very old. Don't even want to think about how old. Um, this doesn't have a whole lot in it. This is basically brand new, but it has all sorts of shower junk in it, over it. So I'm going to ask West about it. If he is willing to use a two-on-one, then we can keep it and he can use it up. But I don't use a two-on-one. So I guess I need to ask him about that. And Extra vitamins. Sneak that up. Face wash shampoo. Seen better days. It's actually a, a blow dryer thing in the TV. I used it for so long to put my emergency medicines in while traveling. So it's just like if I'm in an emergency, grab this silver bag, it's going to have what you need in it. Um, I haven't used it recently because my emergency medicines. Here, it's in a ziplock. I wonder if it'll even fit. I still like the idea of a designated bag that's easy to see for emergencies. And when I say emergencies, it's basically migraines. Okay, they still fit. It's seen better days. Let me sit down and go through these and see if I can combine bottles or put some of them in the non-use medicines because I'm pretty sure there's at least one medicine in here I don't use. You might hear my dog whining in the bathroom. It's within the hour of feeding, so he cries. So this does not go there. That's much better. Um, Then more of that same drink. I need to go to the pharmacy and do a drop off of drugs I don't use. Drugs not use. This is oh dear. These are all migraine stuff. And not migraine stuff. Okay, guess I'll be putting these in there. Big old box just for a sheet. The nice thing with these ones is they actually have an expiration on each individual pill pouch. So if I'm ever concerned about that, I can look at it. This is what happens when you go to doctors and they want to try you on new medicines and they don't work out. You get all these extra medicines. Okay. Black 
to go. Okay, now we have an extra one of those. myself a box to put back up. I need to ask Wes about these because I found something that worked better. So, ask Wes to pile. So these vitamins, let's see if it fits in the drawer. These can combine two boxes into one. And then this will hopefully fit right here. And it does. So lots of extra boxes. So there's an extra shower curtain up there and I need to go check the linen closet and see if we have another extra one because you only need one extra one for the house. Um, yeah, so we could check that. We do have another one. I think I'm just going to put this one with that one. So when it comes time to needing them, we will... Uh, what do you call it? We'll be together. We can decide then. I think we'll get a grabber. Okay. I'm ready to put things back up. Problem is, they're all individual things, and it's gonna be a pain to get back up, and, and that's why I want them in a box. What I was able to find was a little basket and a little sorting tray. Um, not the ideal, but maybe I can make this work. And until we get another box in the mail, we can actually, um, what do you call it? Put it together correctly. You know, you can save a lot of space by taking things out of the packaging. At least that's what I'm telling myself. More packaging, more bottle. Those things can go in there. And then these we know are on the side and we're going to look for them. So it's not a mystery. Now, the only problem with this is that basket's new to me. I don't really know what's in it. I know, but I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and put a label on it. I do a three, three by five card. I'll show you how I do that until I get used to knowing that's where that stuff is. So let me go get that. This kind of makes me cringe, but on that basket, I don't know of a way to attach this to it, so I'm going to use a stapler and staple it to that little fabric lining. So, with my 3x5 card, I'm going to have it like this. I'm going to write down the list and go so. I have my list, my container, it's not straight, but there's a list. It's a cabinet of stuff. It's not going to be, doesn't need to be pretty. Okay, and that's, it feels like a waste because it's a really deep cabinet. I only have things in the front of it, but you saw how hard it was to get up there. It's ridiculous. It's like long-term storage. Um, so I'm not going to put anything behind there. Um, so I need to make a note. At least write down my list of questions for West. feels a little bit silly since I'm going to just have a little pile to go through with them anyways. Um, 
but I'm not pulling down that shampoo, so we'll just go with that. So here we have packaging that needs to be broken down and thrown away, supplies to be put back, vitamin to start taking again. This is all things to talk to West about. This is donations. There's more supplies to be put back there. And then this is vitamins to be put out into rotation. So let me show you the after. I don't know from the pictures if you can necessarily see a huge difference. Um, but functionally, I know there's a big difference. So let me show you. So first shelf and second shelf. Thank you for joining me today in the bathroom. Um, made a lot more progress on these cabinets than I expected. I really didn't expect them to be functional until later, but they are functional now. Um, and it'll be so nice to know that I can pull things out without things falling on top of me or having to sort through a big pile of things. Um, so I guess this goes to prove if it's bothering you and it feels overwhelming, just look. Just start, just try, and oftentimes it might not be perfect, but it'll definitely be better. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you use this as inspiration to look into that place that's a little bit annoying, a little bit overwhelming, and taking it one item at a time. Until next time, have a good day. And meanwhile, please feel free to like and subscribe. This is a new channel.